Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very nice exponential equation from Romania. Romania is known to have an awesome collection of math problems. They are also very successful at international math olympiads and they do a lot of great competitions at the local and other levels. Anyway, so we have 3 to the power x plus 4 to the power x minus 6 to the power x equals 1 and we are going to be looking for the x values. So to solve this problem, I'm going to use one of my favorite methods, which is substitution. If you said substitution, you guessed it right. So I'll set a equal to 2 to the power x and b equal to 3 to the power x. And notice that 6 to the power x can be written as 2 to the power x times 3 to the power x because the bases are multiplied when the exponents are the same. So from here, we can safely say that 6 to the power x can be written as ab. Great. So let's go ahead and substitute everything into our equation. So 3 to the power x is b, 4 to the power x is what? Okay, I don't know that. So, but well, 4 is 2 squared, so it's just a squared. Come on, you know that. 6 to the power x is ab, and this is equal to 1. Now, when you look at an equation like this, it kind of looks scary, doesn't it? You have two variables, one of them is quadratic, while b is multiplied by a, so that looks confusing. But don't worry, this equation is easily solvable, and I can actually present two methods. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but let me just go with the one, and then maybe we'll, we can talk about another method too. So, to solve this equation, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the a squared with the negative 1, and then put a minus sign here, and write it as a, b, minus b. And there's a reason behind that you'll see in a little bit. Now, a squared minus 1 is difference of two squares, so I can go ahead and factor it. And this one has a common factor of b, which gives us a minus 1, and yay! This is factorable by grouping. So we can take out a minus 1, and then we have a plus 1 minus b. So in, factoring is very important for solving equations of any kind because that gives us really, uh, you know, pretty much what the roots are. Uh, with, with the sum, you don't get that. So a minus 1, set it equal to 0, you're going to get a solution that means a equals 1. But what is a? Let's go back. a is equal to 2 to the power x. So we have to back substitute, replace a with 2 to the power x equals 1, and you get x equals 0. Easy, right? Any number to the power 0 is 1 except for 0. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the other factor because that's going to be much more interesting. a is 2 to the power x. I'm going to bring the 3 to the power x over here. And then plus 1 is equal to 0. Now at this point, here's what we're going to do. We're going to add 3 to the power x to both sides and write it as 2 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power x. We could definitely make a separate video on this equation because this is really, really cool. And I, you've probably seen the, the most viewed video, which is 5 to the power x minus 3 to the power x equals, what was that? Is that a 16, 4? Anyway, something like that. You get the idea. I think the answer was 2 for that one. So it's very similar to that one. And we're going to solve it by turning it into something manageable. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by the expression with the uh, lowest, highest base, which is 3 to the power x. So that's going to be 2 to the x, 3 to the x, plus 1 over 3 to the x equals 1. Now notice that 1 can be written as 1 to the x power, so we can write this as 2 over 3 to the power x, plus 1 over 3 to the power x, equals 1. Now this is really cool because on the left hand side we have a decreasing function. How do I know that? If you have b to the power x and b is between 0 and 1 then you're going to get a decreasing function. That's what happens and you can differentiate both sides to see that it's decreasing, right? Because ln b is going to be negative, obviously. So we have a decreasing function being equal to a constant, right? So the left hand side is decreasing and this is constant and what is that supposed to mean it means that when you look at the graph and we're going to take a look at the graph you'll notice that there's going to be a single intersection point but how do you know the answer of course at this point 
you have to kind of guess and check and it's not hard at all in this case because this problem is contrived right some people like that term so anyways uh, it's a competition problem right what can I do so x equals 1 will work because 2 thirds plus 1 third equals 1 I hope you know that so and you can also look at it from a different perspective for example if x is greater than 1 so we know that x equals 1 is a solution right so x equals 1 works okay great if x is greater than 1 2 thirds to the power of x so something like square 2 thirds you're gonna get smaller and smaller answers right the number is gonna get smaller and smaller eventually it's gonna approach 0 so if x is greater than 1 then 2 to the power 2 thirds to the power x is going to be less than 2 thirds and 1 third to the power x is going to be less than 1 third and this sum here which is supposed to be 1 is going to be less than 1 1 is less than 1 this is nonsense and for x is less than 1 we get something similar right so don't worry about it we, we don't get any other solutions from here so that's pretty much it right but let's go ahead and look at it from another perspective because remember I told you maybe I'll show you a second approach the second approach is just for solving this equation so suppose you didn't know this is factorable and in some cases this equation may not be factorable right so let's go ahead and look at it from another perspective and I'll still have to show you the graph so this is my equation and I'd like to write it this way a squared minus b a plus b minus 1 is equal to 0 and guess what I can do from here I can go ahead and solve this as a quadratic in a so from here using the quadratic formula a is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared right minus 4ac which is b minus 1 and that's divided by 2 great so now from here we're going to get b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4b plus 4 does that look familiar that is b minus 2 quantity squared therefore with the plus minus sign we can write this as b minus 2 but let's keep the parentheses for minus sign and from here you're going to get something interesting if uh, you use the plus sign you get a equals b plus b minus 2 over 2 which is 2b or not 2b sorry I had to make that joke uh, you're going to get b minus 1 so what is that supposed to mean it gives you a equals b minus 1 and you can kind of you know plug it in and you're going to get one of our equations here easy right simple and by using the minus sign you're going to get a equals b minus b plus 2 divided by 2 and something interesting you're going to get a equals 1 which is the other solution so you can also turn it into a quadratic and solve it let's go ahead and take a look at the graph now the graph is also going to give us some ideas it's not definitely a solution but it kind of shows you something so the graph of 3 to the power x plus 4 to the power x minus 6 to the power x intersected with the horizontal line y equals 1 the orange one and you notice that there are two intersection points I'm not saying that Desmos is saying that there are two intersection points and those points are exactly given with their coordinates therefore x equals 0 and x equals 1 are the only solutions to this equation well this brings us to the end of this video well, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.